there's that pipe that split. Now, like I said earlier, I had it in the forge just like this, and the flame was hitting right here. And uh, right here is the seam that split. Tells me that that seam lung runs right along here. But uh, yeah, the flame was hitting one spot. I forgot that it was on full blast, and I wasn't paying attention to it. So mistakes made was I wasn't paying attention to it. I wasn't rotating it, and I brought it up to heat too fast. The camp and the heat was too localized. The campfire brings the whole piece or a whole side up to temperature at once, a slow heat up. The propane forge, me having a full blast, burned up way too fast. So, lesson learned next time, bring it up to heat very slowly in the propane forge. The one thing I forgot to mention yesterday was the smell of this. Because uh, you're burning sugar, it don't smell the best. So I kind of do recommend the campfire method. Light, super light. Almost no smell. I got a bucket down here. We're gonna dump all this into it. hardened it yet it doesn't even want to file the file just barely scratches it got a hand sanding pad I'm just gonna clean the carbon off these real quick now to make the best use of these you harden it and you don't temper it or you temper it very lightly I can get away with not tempering it because it's got that soft iron back to it. And uh, the higher temperature you can get on these, the faster the carbon will absorb. Same is true for carbon migration. The hotter you get it, the faster that carbon is going to migrate. I say you don't really pick up scale. You just have the carbon crust you got to take off, really. some temper colors in this actually you might not be able to see but there's some temper colors in this from uh, the cool down when uh, oxygen got back into the can I'm just going to clean up the scale that formed during the hardening process.
mark. Digs in a little bit up here, but I didn't get the struck in non-magnetic, so I don't need to temper it. Okay, we're all done hardening. Here's the knife. Not a mark on it. Snap it right at the tip. Okay, and we'll hold on to that. Now the plan is I'm going to etch all these, clean them up and etch them show you how deep the case went. In fact, I can see it right now. But I doubt the camera will. for this. Yeah, I'm going to snap this one, maybe two more times. Then uh, I'll edge them and come back to you. Okay. I've snapped and ground and cut on this knife that I case hardened. Got the tip completely dark full penetration of the case and when I was grinding this it's uh, it's definitely at least 1% carbon it was throwing sparks everywhere and again a little further back completely dark an inch behind that, completely dark, right behind that, still completely dark, and it isn't until the middle of the blade here that we're just starting to see some of the core right up here. Now, why, why this works so well? Like I said before, carbon's coming in this side, from this side, from this side, and from this side. And this is a triangular cross section. So, the case stops right, right here, right in the middle. And then it's only getting higher carbon down to the edge. Okay, so I had the idea in my head and the picture in my head at the time, but uh, I didn't convey it accurately. So, most of my knives are 3 sixteenths at the spine, or 4 millimeter, and a sixteenth at the edge, or 1.5 millimeter. And anywhere from inch and an eighth to inch and a half wide. So that's 20, 28 mil to like 35, 37 mil. So anyway, we got a sixteenth of inch case harden on our knife or one and a half millimeter. And we'll draw that in. and make everything that was case hardened red. Now as you can see, our case harden goes from the edge all the way up to the middle of the blade. So 
that that blade was inch and a quarter which is 30 mil somewhere around 30 mil which means three quarters of an inch or 20 mil was fully harder hardenable material I don't care how much you grind off this knife to get finished if you, you are not going to hit that soft core now the end I thermal cycled it twice and it's just one big gray piece now. That carbon migrated to the core. So this is, for all intents and purposes, a homogenous piece of what is most likely medium carbon steel now.